Good morning from the incredibly busy city of Hanoi, Vietnam. We have one day to explore Hanoi before we head to the coast to see one of the seven wonders of the world. So we're gonna see everything we can in the city today. But first, before we start exploring the city, I'm starving. Baby girl, you hungry? Yes. Let's go eat. We just got to breakfast at The Veg, which is near the train street that we are going to next. But first, we're gonna fill up on some delicious chia seed pudding with mango, banana crepes. We also got two orders of their banana pancakes. Tiana's gonna try the first bite. All right, first bite taste test. Ah, mm, it's good. Really good? Good. <laughs> good. Good. good job. We found a nice little coffee shop to watch the train go by at. You can sit on the train track in these little coffee shops and restaurants, and that's the only way to watch it go by. This is gonna be so cool. It looks awesome so far, so it's literally gonna go right by us where we're sitting. And of course, Tiana found their dog. Hey, baby. She's so cute. She's so cute. That was insane. The train was like two feet from us. So awesome. I've never been that close before. Guys, the traffic here is insane and what we just did may look illegal, but that's the only way you can cross the street. Nobody follows any of the traffic rules or the walking signs or anything like that. It's just a free for all. And that's why I'm carrying baby girl. Well, that's part of the reason. The other reason is she doesn't like to walk. We just hopped in a cab and now we're on our way to Long Bien Bridge. It was only a 25 minute walk, but we're just gonna take a ride and make it easy for everybody. We're gonna go to the bridge, see the city views, and John's gonna fly the drone. Sorry, I'm fanning my princess at the moment. She says it's a little too hot for her. We decided to walk back from the bridge so we could see the area. And we were walking through a really cool market right now that has every type of food you could ever imagine and fruits and vegetables that I've never even seen before. And I honestly just want to try everything. This is insane and awesome. We found some dried mango. Baby girl, did you pick something? Yeah. Let me see. It's a doctor's kit. Yes. That's really cool. Yeah. All right, so we just got back to our Airbnb and I have got to show you this. So this just looks like your typical crepe shop, right? Selling crepes? Nope. That's the entrance to our Airbnb. And then you walk into the crepe shop. You walk through the kitchen area. And then you come back here. Then we get on the smallest elevator you've ever seen in your life. And there's a trick to this elevator. If you touch the walls or touch anything, the elevator stops, which is kind of nerve wracking. What is it? Three. All right, and now <laughs> we're going up. This is so sketchy. This is so creepy. Please don't get stuck. I can't Please even don't get see stuck. Tiana. <laughs> She's in here. 
Say hi, Tiana. Hi. And inside is a very unsuspecting updated Airbnb. It's really nice. Now it is a little small, but that's okay. It's in a great location and it even has a balcony so you can look out to the city and all the madness that's always going on. This is 24 seven. We're gonna hang out in the Airbnb for a little while, take a break from all the noise and traffic and play Dr. Tiana. Um, it feels good to be in here where it's like quiet and calm, especially for her because as a little kid walking around the city for a few hours can get really overstimulating and overwhelming. So we like to make I'm sure we're giving her no. breaks. I know, I know. <laughs> and I mean, let's be honest, for kids like looking at bridges and buildings and stores you can't buy stuff in gets a little bit old after a while. So we're gonna hang out in here, play for a little while. I might actually go get a haircut. I know John thinks I'm crazy. That's good. Who gets a haircut on vacation or while they're traveling? Well, my hair's too long right now. Like, I think you guys know how long my hair is, but it's bothering me because it's so long. Like, it's past good length and the ends are like thin and getting all knotted. So I was thinking about just like getting a little cut chop. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll go get it. Let me see. Let me, let me try. More than that. Not that much. <laughs> I do have my shaver in the bathroom. Yeah, but you don't have scissors. No, I have a shaver. <laughs> oh my God, I don't want to shave. Just a little oh, cut. Tiana's going to give you a haircut. If she goes and gets her haircut, I actually might go get a massage. Because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but in Southeast Asia, massages for like two hours are only like six to eight dollars. And that's a deal I can't pass up. Rihanna here doesn't like massages because she's ticklish. Yeah, so I deserve a haircut. How short should I cut it? Hold on, I'm getting my uh, temperature check. How's my ear? Um, I think I'll cut off this much and then it'll be like more freeing. I'm so sick. <gasps> Can you help me please? Yeah. It sounds like my heartbeat's not doing great. What are you doing with that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm better now. I'm better now. <laughs> no, I think I'm better. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm better now. Oh no, I'm good. Surgery. I don't need scissors. You did that? Those are perfect stitches, baby. How much was the surgery? Um, two minutes. That's time. How much was the surgery in money? Um, five dollars. That's pretty good. Deal. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. So I was gonna go get a massage, but I'm way too intrigued by my wife getting a haircut in a foreign country where she doesn't speak the language and doesn't even know how to ask for the type of haircut she wants. Babe, I think you should go. For this one right here. I think that's a little too, like, um, edgy for No, I like it. <laughs> Rihanna's currently using Google Images to show them what type of haircut she wants. You want to hold her? Yeah, just be very gentle. Oh. Per usual, Tiana finds another animal. It feels so much better already. I can't get enough of Tiana and this little baby Chihuahua. You guys are too cute. Look at that little face. I have big eyeballs. Really big eyeballs. What a cutie. Two cuties. It looks really good, babe. Beautiful. Wow. You are already an 11 out of 10. You just went to a 12 out of 10. Yeah. What do you think, baby girl? You like mommy's hair? You like it? You like the dog more? So 
what do you guys think of my new shorter hair? I love it, it feels so much better, and I'm so happy that I went for it and just did it. I wanted to go even shorter, but I didn't want to get too crazy, so I just went with this mid-length. Um, so the haircut was actually only like 23 US dollars for the wash cut and style, which is an insane deal. And of course I tipped them, but they did a great job and I love it. And now we are heading to dinner. We were actually going to go to this really tall building in the city called Lot Center um, to watch sunset, but it was so crazy out here around 5 p.m. that we couldn't even get a taxi or a ride or anything to get there and it was too far to walk. So we miss sunset, but it's okay because we're heading to dinner at an authentic vegan Vietnamese restaurant. It is incredible. We actually ate there last night. We cannot wait to share it with you. Best meal I've had so far on this trip. All right, so we have made it to the restaurant and just like our Airbnb, it's in a very unsuspecting place. So you kind of go down this hallway right here. We did not find this the first time. We had to come back again, but anyway, we're so glad we did. And then you see the sign that says restaurant second floor. And then you squeeze in here. It's easier for Rihanna and Tiana. And then you come up these stairs and it's literally just a hole in the floor right here. And you come through here and you find the restaurant. So last night, Tiana made best friends with this little girl and she's so excited that she's here again. So before you even get your food, they actually come to your table and make all these dipping bowls. One spicy and one's like sweet with lemon, but they're so good and they work with every item that you order. Thank you. Steamed rice, thank you. Normally, so we have this steamed rice in every meal. Okay. This is lamb sauce. Tofu dip, tofu dip into this lamb sauce. Okay. Some whole bean sprouts. And uh, banana flower. And uh, this uh, aromas. Coriander. Yeah, so Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, <laughs> mm. It's so good. Put a little bit of rice in there. Yeah, a little bit of juice. Just a little bit. Good job, and put that on the rice. And then one of these. Okay. Yeah. Now, put the rice and the tofu in for a big bite. No, this rice. Good? Really good? <laughs> Tiana took one bite of food and then moved her chair back with her friend. Her friend is actually the owner's daughter, and they met last night, and they hit it off right away. So every time we think we're almost done or we're on the last plate, they bring something else. So they just brought us more of this one, the barbecue, and the French onion soup. And it just does not stop coming. And I don't want you guys to think we ordered all this. We literally ordered three things, and this is what we ended up with. The service is incredible, the food's incredible. You might want to fly to Vietnam just to try this. <laughs> is it the best meal you've ever had? Is that the best meal I ever had? Well, I don't know. Like you said it and then I couldn't think of a better one. Yeah, I think like because it's in a hole in the floor somewhere, literally. No, it's a hole in the, that's a hole in the floor too to get up here. And, yeah, a hole in the wall and a hole in the floor. I think just like, it might be. It's gotta be top three for sure. It's definitely number one. For you? Yeah. Okay, I don't blame you. Did you like it? Yes, that's my friend there. Your friend was there, okay? Yes. Can you get in? 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10. I don't want to sound like one of those annoying YouTubers, but it's honestly so good that I couldn't help saying it's the best meal. And I got takeaway, and I'm just so full and happy. You sound like an annoying YouTuber. I know. Do you like my hair? Love it, babe, love it. All right, so again, the name of the place is called Cat's A Vegan, and it's actually right there, but you've got to go through this door on the side. So remember that, and then when you get back there, it's on the second floor. And also the owner has a really cool story. He started off as a street kid and came up as an entrepreneur, but he describes himself as a social entrepreneur because he loves to give back. As an entrepreneur myself that loves to give back, it's really inspiring to hear that. 
if you guys are ever in the area, make sure you give it a shot. So last night after dinner, we ended up just walking around the night markets. It was crazy busy. There were people everywhere. Tiana ended up getting something called Dragon's Breath, and it had her blowing smoke out of her mouth and nose. It was hilarious. She loved it. But anyway, over the last couple of days outside of our Airbnb, we noticed they were building something and we didn't know what. So right outside of our room is a full marathon. It is super loud. It woke me up, but the girls can sleep through anything. Pretty cool though. But anyway, when these girls finally wake up, we're gonna get this room packed and then we have about a two and a half hour car ride to go somewhere very, very special. We're super excited and we can't wait to show you guys. We made it to our next destination, got all checked into our hotel, which is absolutely beautiful. There are wonderful views from every room in our hotel, and even more beautiful than the views from our room are the views from this infinity pool behind me, which overlooks one of the seven natural wonders of the world, Halong Bay. Today, we're actually just gonna be hanging out at the hotel, enjoying the pools. It's a little too cold to swim in the infinity pool, so we're gonna go downstairs and swim in the indoor pool that's made for every season. And then tomorrow, we are gonna be going out on a boat tour to explore Halong Bay and see the sights and have a great adventure in Cat Ba. So we absolutely cannot wait. We're excited for some downtime today, but even more excited to get out there tomorrow. Good morning guys. Yesterday was amazing. We had a fantastic time on that tour, but today we're actually packing up and we're heading on another adventure and going to a new country. Mm -hmm. 